Welcome to Orlando Attractions Magazine, the show. This week, Scarlett will show you all the odd things that happened during Ripley's Believe It or Not's 20th anniversary. And I'll be taking you to SeaWorld's Halloween Spooktacular. And we'll also be bringing you theme park news, a hidden Mickey, new contest, and much, much more. So stay tuned because this week's episode of the show is starting right, right now. now. brought to you by Mouse Fan Travel, an authorized Disney vacation planner. Let them plan your next trip at no extra cost. For a no obligation free quote, visit mousefantravel.com. This week's show is coming to you from Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade Disney items and more. Visit their warehouse here in Winter Garden or online at themeparkconnection.com. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm JL. And I'm Banks. We've got a lot of fun things in store for you this week. Oh, yeah, indeed. Such yeah. as, Banks, what did you do? Uh, let's see, this past week, uh, what did I do? I, mean, I got, you know, worked at the 20th anniversary of Ripley's, of course, and that'll be on the show. Um, went out to Storbrook Circus to see their, the whole the rest of the area, and I'll talk about that in the news. And, you know, just a lot of fun stuff this week. Yes. What about you? Well, I took my little troop out to SeaWorld for their Halloween Spooktacular. It was uh -huh. our first time at SeaWorld. It was our first time doing the Halloween Spooktacular. It was great. We'll get on to that a little bit later on in the show, but right now, let's start off with news in the queue. Sideshow opened earlier this week at Storybook Circus in the Magic Kingdom. The tent offers a chance to meet Donald, Goofy, Minnie, and Daisy in their circus outfits. You're going to meet the astounding Donaldo, who's a snake charmer of sorts, mm -hmm. the great Goofini, who's the daredevil of the group, Madame Daisy Fortuna, who is the gypsy mm -hmm. fortune teller, and Minnie Magnifique, she's the animal trainer. This, this whole area is absolutely beautiful. This completes the whole Storybook, Storybook Circus area of the Magic Kingdom. It's all completely open now. And it's honestly, like, it is my favorite area of Magic Kingdom now. I could go there and sit there and just take in the whole sights and sounds. And it's lovely. That's lovely. completely adorable of you. Yeah. So it's done. It, it is finished. Storybook Circus is finished, completely open for all to come and see. Big Top Souvenirs, excellent gift shop because they got a lot of awesome merchandise and, and and like treats you can buy it's all circus themed and with the exterior of Pete's Silly Slideshow there's a big uh, cutout of um, Pete and he's he's barking basically like he's you know step right up step right up come meet the amazing characters and it's just fantastic um, elements to this whole area the Imagineers knocked this area out of the park and I cannot wait for soft openings to start up very soon for New Fantasyland. Can't wait. Definitely. Now, Legoland Florida is celebrating their one year anniversary by selling half price tickets to visit on October 15th. There'll be prize patrols uh, randomly giving out prizes such as annual passes, tickets, tours, a chance to meet a model builder, and a lot more. Now, a we, model builder? Yes, yeah, the ones that build all those giant models at uh, the Miniland section. That is fascinating. Yeah. Now, we, we were there a year ago, uh, me and Amanda hosting the episode of the show for the grand opening, and it's so hard to believe that it's been a year since we did that. And this park is just still continuing to thrive. That sounds such, like such a great idea. Yeah. I know my son being a Lego fan, I, he would love to have the chance to just kind of get his hands on a model builder and talk to them about yeah. how to put these things together. Oh, and um, here's the cool thing. If you really like sweets, there's going to be free cupcakes given to the first 5,000 guests. That's a lot of cupcakes. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff to make there. Yeah. <laughs> we feel for the baker. <laughs> yeah. Now, tickets are limited. You must purchase them online at florida.legoland.com forward slash first birthday. Now, the characters in Flight Balloon at Downtown Disney has reopened with a new balloon. Mm -hmm. Now, it closed for inspections following a small accident involving a similar balloon in Hong Kong a few months ago. But it's back here now with a new design, too. And it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. I really like it a lot more than the old design. You can see it from my apartment, so I see it every day. And I it's... agree. I agree. It is much, much of an improvement. Mm -hmm. The new balloon features flying characters such as Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, Buzz Lightyear, Dumbo, Jasmine, and Aladdin. 
Jasmine and Aladdin with the help of their magic carpet, of course. Yeah, I was wondering how that worked out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Assisted characters in flight. <laughs> that, that doesn't roll off the tongue as, <laughs> as quite as well, but <laughs> I like it. Now, Old Town will host a free Halloween event each Friday and Saturday in October and on Halloween night. There's four haunt zones, live entertainment. Uh, the Florida chapter of the Ghostbusters will be making appearances. From what I understand, these are the fans of Ghostbusters the movie. Exactly. They have the, the full get up. They've got their own proton packs. They've got their own actual replica of the vehicle. Uh, it's, wow. they're, they're intense. Have uh, they been slimed? They have not been slimed, but um, if, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. There you go. <laughs> Costume contests are also on Saturdays at, during the event, and it's a fun free event for the whole family to come out and see. Of course, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal, Hollow Scream at Busch Gardens, and Mickey's Halloween Party at the Magic Kingdom continue select nights through the remainder of October. Mm -hmm. And Epcot's Food and Wine Festival is also ongoing. You can see Smash Mouth in concert tonight and tomorrow night. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get, Get your, your game, game on. on. Go, Go see on. them. <laughs> then Javier Colon on Saturday and Sunday and Air Supply next Monday through Wednesday. Now, something else continuing each weekend in October is SeaWorld's Halloween Spooktacular. Yes, and you got to go there for your first time at SeaWorld with your kids. Yes. And this is your first time your kids are going to be seen on our show. Are they excited? They are so excited <laughs> to be making their debut on the show, the same show as Banks Lee. I remember when I met them, they were, they, they were really like kind of starstruck a little bit. They were starstruck for sure. Very, they were very, <laughs> very sweet, and I love them to death. They're so adorable. Well, let's go have a look at the great time that we all had. Definitely. Hi, we're here at SeaWorld's Halloween Spooktacular. I'm here with my troop, Margo, Miller, and Ellie. We're about to check out all the activities that they have out for us, so come on, let's check it out. Here's the strategy. We're gonna go out with enthusiasm, get the candy, and hit it. Everybody ready? Yeah! Yeah, hands in. On the count of three, trick or treat. One, two, three, trick, trick or treat! treat. Come on, come on, jump in. Oh, yeah. There's our first candy stop. Oh, there is a candy stop. Miller spots them first. Thank you. Everybody say, fish are friends. Oh, do we get raisins? Thank you. Thanks so much. Here you go, Bug. Well, it's a hot day, so as always, don't forget to drink your water when you're in the parks. Hey everyone, we're here today at SeaWorld for Halloween Spooktacular, and I'm here speaking with Muffet Baker, Entertainment Manager. She's gonna tell us a few things about this exciting event. Muffet, actually, this is my first time ever at SeaWorld. I'm here today with my three children. What is it that we should hit, for sure, definitely, for the Spooktacular event? Well, you're in for a big, busy day. Um, you get to see all the normal things from SeaWorld as well, so keep a little bit of energy left for that. But Spooktacular opens at 12, and it's all during the day, so it goes until 8, so it's a great time for kids. They're awake and ready to go. You can come through. You can see all of our undersea creatures, which are very fun and entertaining and very family-friendly. And also, there's lots of trick-or-treating. There's over 15 candy stations, over a million pieces of candy, so you can go to all of the stations fill up your bag full of candy and have a good time. You can go to Penelope's Photacular and if you've come in your costume you can get your picture taken there and that picture might show up during the pre-show for Shamu Rocks. That's pretty exciting. My kids actually have come in their costumes today so we'll look forward to that. My kids range in age from 12 to 8. What events and activities do you have here that are specifically geared towards, are, are they specifically geared towards specific age groups? We keep this very non-scary so it's geared toward young children and children who don't want to get scared. Mm -hmm. So it's all very fun, very fantasical, um, just a, a good Halloween trick-or-treat kind of experience. We have a lot of crafts that they can do. We have our party zone, which has an interactive DJ, and that appeals to all ages. They can hula hoop, they can play different games there. There are coloring stations for the, the younger ones. Um, there are some other things going on that they can do and just have a good time. It sounds like a really good time. Now, as a mom, I am kind of concerned always around Halloween time about the sh high sugar intake. Do you have have alternatives for kids that maybe have special dietary needs or parents that are just concerned about having a little bit too much sugar? 
we do have a couple of healthy options for you. And how do you handle that? Do you have to go to a specific place? Mm -hmm. As we have it set up, we have separate um, stations, and it's one kind of candy or one kind of treat at each station. So we do have some of the stations that are a healthier treat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good time. One of the things that you can do here at Spooktacular for an extra cost is decorate your own treat. You have a choice between a caramel apple and a chocolate rice crispy treat. So what we're doing is we're dividing up into teams. We have team one and team two. We're going to see who decorates their treat the best and you all get to decide. Should we make like some kind of spooky face with our apple? <laughs> well, here's the finished product. We have a jack-o'-lantern done by Team 2, yeah. And Team 1 made a vampire. You all decide which one's the best. Let us know. I think we got it in the bag. No? <laughs> New this year, we have Penelope's Photacular. Now, from what I understand, when we get, we just got our pictures done and we're given these photo cards, but we were also told that at the end of the evening, the last Shamu show, our pictures might actually show up in the show. Well, we made it to the end of the candy trail. We came. We saw. Some things to keep in mind, the Halloween Spooktacular is included in your regular price admission. So after you're done with all the Halloween activities, you're free to roam the rest of the park and enjoy the regular attractions that are here at SeaWorld. Well, what do you all think about Halloween Spooktacular? Yay or nay? Yay! Hi, I'm Steve Barrett, Hidden Mickey Guy, and I wrote this book that I'm holding right by me here. So I want to tell you about a Hidden Mickey. When you enter the dining area of Tony's Town Square Restaurant, look left to the corner and find the second floor tile to the right of that corner. A Mickey impression is at the center of this black tile. If you view the hidden Mickey from the seating area, it will appear upside down. Where should you go to find out about the greatest theme parks and attractions on Earth? Orlando Attractions Magazine. Get the best information, photos, travel tips, tricks, and reviews from Orlando Attractions Magazine. Whether it's new, unique, big or small, or just one of your theme park favorites, we cover it all in Orlando Attractions Magazine. Each issue features Central Florida's thrills and excitement delivered directly to you. Check out a free preview and subscribe today at attractionsmagazine.com. Now this past Saturday over at Ripley's Believe It or Not, which I work at, as you know, we had our Oddtoberfest celebration for our 20th anniversary. Now, you get it because it was Oddtoberfest and it's Oktoberfest, kind of a play on words because we're a museum of the, the odd. Got uh, it. Anyway, uh, so Scarlett was over there uh, with uh, her kids and uh, they were having a great time. Um, did you get to, uh, you got to come out to see our museum yes. on another day. I took you on a personal tour. Yes, I brought my troop once again out to Ripley's to see mm -hmm. you and all of the creepy, weird, odd things. What would you think? Um, we definitely all had dreams about it that night. It sticks with you. Don't ever <laughs> let this guy talk you into stepping near that Iron Maiden. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> Scarlett, take it away over at the anniversary celebration. We're here 
today at Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium here in Orlando celebrating Oddtoberfest. 20 odd years in Orlando. They've got all kinds of really great activities here today. We have performances, carnival games, book signings, Radio Disney's here right now. Let's go check it out. Celebrating Oddtoberfest, and I'm here with Lizard Man. Liz hey, me. <laughs> now, Lizard Man, tell me what started your transformation. What started my transformation? There wasn't really a start. It's, it began as a conceptual art idea that I had when I was in school studying philosophy and art, and since then, it's kind of taken on a life of its own. And what? Where did you start? Like, what was the first thing that you did? I actually started off, unlike a lot of people who get a tattoo and then build off that, I started off with a plan to tattoo my entire body. So I don't have a first tattoo, I don't have multiple tattoos, I have one tattoo. It's just that I've been working on that one tattoo for almost 19 years now. And what does it feel like to be immortalized in wax here at Ripley's and in books all over the world? Shouldn't you ask the wax me? <laughs> it actually, it feels really good. It's a great thing to know that I have a legacy, that I will be preserved, that long after I am gone, well, hell, after a nuclear war, those statues would still be standing. They're pretty solid if you check them out. It's a great feeling to know that I will have that legacy, that Ripley's is going to preserve it, because a lot of my early influences were people that I saw in Ripley's museums and on the TV show, and now I am one of those people. And what kind of reaction do you get in your everyday life? I'm assuming you go grocery shopping and do normal things like the rest of us. How do people react to you out in public? Yes, sadly, I am not yet rich enough to be a hermit that does not have to go out and do grocery shopping and things like that. Uh, when I go out, I get a lot of the reactions we're getting here today. People stare, people turn their heads, people take photos, ask questions. It's generally pretty polite and pretty benign. Um, you know, but everybody has good and bad days. Sometimes I'll just sort of, I will stay in and order delivery. <laughs> Now I'm just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. The nail will go all the way in. But I know you got your cameras out and you do want to get a photo of this, so I'm going to make sure everybody gets a good view. I'm going to turn over here, give you guys a couple of taps. And come over here, give you guys a couple of taps. And then right back to the center, we're going to finish up. Oh, yeah. You can feel it tickling my brain. <laughs> I'm here now with Edward Meyer, the Vice President of Exhibits and Archives here at Ripley's. Now, Edward, is it just this Ripley's or all of the Ripley's? No, I'm, I'm the man for all of Ripley's. 32 in 10 countries on four continents. We've been in the museum business since 1933. I've been at it for 35 years now. And so you're responsible for collecting all of these amazing exhibits and bringing them to the Ripley's all over the world. I think that's safe to say. I, I have the best job in the world. I get to follow in the footsteps of Robert Ripley, collecting the odd, the unusual, but all true for every one of our museums and our books as well. That's outstanding. So how do you find these things? We look hard. We, we have a research team here in Orlando, as well as one in London, England, that works specifically for the books. And we are looking all the time, 24-7, anywhere and everywhere. And because we've been in business since 1918, museums since 1933, but the foundation of the company is a newspaper cartoon drawn by Robert Ripley, 1918, people find us. You know, 90 plus years of doing this, if you hear something weird, chances are I'm the first guy you call. Y'all ready to get down right about now? Let's go. Come on. In the small town where it's at, 
I've been missing just one Cause it's all over my mind Is it that I'm not paying attention But it's going in the wrong direction Accused of no compassion or empathy They don't understand I'm just doing that I care about each and every one But it's so much time To get it all done in the hood Thank you for joining us here at Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium in Orlando. We really enjoyed the great special events, the fantastic museum, and even though the events were just here today, you can stop by and visit and check out all the amazing stuff inside anytime, open seven days a week from nine to midnight. And if you come check it out, you might even see a familiar face. Hi. I'm Banks Lee, host of Orlando Attractions Magazine, the show. Come on out to Ripley's, believe it or not, it's odd. <laughs>
You owe me a drink. No, you owe me one. Why? Because I said so. Okay. Our last shout out goes to Chris and Lorraine Scott from England. Chris said it took him 24 years of dreaming before he got to Disney. And he not only had a fab time, but he met his future wife in Orlando. Oh, wow. They're now planning a return trip next August with their boys, who will be 7 and 11. And they'd like some advice on avoiding the heat and crowds. Oh, my advice, yeah, August is definitely a really rough time to come mm -hmm. with heat-wise. You know, hum Florida is known for its humidity. Um, pack lots of water, of course. Um, these, those backpacks that have the straws to go, those are... The camels. The camels, yes. Those are a very nice thing to have. You know, go to air, go, go into the shops, you know, shop around, get you in the air conditioning and also get you to look around at some neat stuff and indoor attractions are always best. Um, you've got kids, what, what's your tip? Yes, I was going to say air conditioning, air conditioning, air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it's a shop or a restaurant or a ride, try to get in the air conditioning. There you go. <laughs> now, special thanks to Mouse Fan Travel, an authorized Disney vacation planner. Let them plan your next trip at no extra cost. For a free, no obligation quotes, visit mousefantravel.com. And thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade Disney and theme park items. Visit their warehouse right here in Winter Garden or online at themeparkconnection.com. If you enjoy the show, please visit our sponsors and let them know you watch the show. Now remember, you can watch the show each and every week on YouTube iTunes, and Bright House Cable TV, Channel 300 in Central Florida, and 340 in Tampa. Also be sure to visit AttractionsMagazine.com for the news throughout the week and to subscribe to our print magazine. The new fall issue is available in print and in our iPhone and iPad apps and for the first time on Nook devices and apps, which includes all Android devices. A lot of people have been wanting that and we've got it for you now. Finally. Yes, exactly. And that's going to do it for this week's episode. Did you have a good time? Of course, As I always. always have a great time. Of course. Now, what do you uh, you got anything planned coming up this next week? Anything fun? I'm working at Rocco's Tacos. You should go visit her. <laughs> go <laughs> visit her at Rocco's. Tacos. I'm working at Ripley's, so come give us a shout out. We love to talk to people that watch the show. All right. Well, everybody, you go on out there this weekend. Have, have fun. fun! That's fine. <laughs> That's right. I, I totally uh, hesitated there. I was for you to mess up anyway. So. Oh, thanks, oh. Matt. <laughs> no. <laughs> but they also have a con. Uh, Let's just start that one over. <laughs> I just realized we have the lights on. Oh. Now, the new balloon features flying characters such as Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> That's, a blooper. <laughs> That's a blooper. That's definitely Hi. a blooper. Hey Jeff. Hey, Are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, of course, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal, Hollow Scream, and Bush Gardens, and Mickey's. Sorry. Did I read that wrong? We're going to go out and get the candy, right, team? Yeah. Let's try that again. <laughs> Which hotels offer that free transportation to the parks? Save us. Save a few, 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 few bucks. What type of free transportation you can get to the parks so you can save a few bucks off of a taxi or a rental car? Uh, just, uh, and, and shoot, have, have fun. fun. Was that weird? <laughs> hey everybody, we made it to the end of the candy trail at the sea. <laughs> 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 Why? Blue. One of these days, I'm going to get through these things without flubbing. You didn't know you'd be doing stunts, did you? <laughs> this is not in my contract. 